guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and enjoying the lovely weather we have at the moment in england although i don't know if all of england is really hot at the moment in london it's 22 degrees and it's not even 11 o'clock yet today i'm doing a massive vintage clothing haul of all my mum's clothes that i got the other day i've done two of these previously on my channel so i'll leave those in the description box if you want to go and check out the rest of those clothes stuff i found this time I'm doing a little lookbook at the end of the video so if you want to see all these pieces styled up then do just keep on watching till the end all of this is like spring summer stuff so i think you guys are really really gonna like it if you do enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also go and follow my instagram it's just sorrelwj i post fashion content on there i'm so excited to show you these bits so i'm just gonna jump straight in this first piece i think is my favorite that i found and it is just this little vest vests like this and especially this pattern so 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 on trend at the moment there's a pattern like a jumper like this from brandy melville that is just reselling i'm just loving these vests with t-shirts shirts underneath this one is a little bit more fitted rather than oversized this material is really nice for spring as well because it's not actually too thick possibly my favorite one of my favorite pieces that i found also the shirt i'm wearing is a vintage one of my mum's i actually wanted a purple shirt for ages and then i found this in her room how gorgeous is the color on to the next piece i have this little blue knitted crop top fun fact my mom actually wore this when she was like 16 17 and she saw it on me she was like oh my god i have to send a, pink, a picture to her uncle and um, so my great uncle of me wearing it because she was like literally i wore this when i was like 14 15 and they got it for her it's just like such a nice simple basic it's actually not too thick so this again would be perfect for like a cooler summer day or a spring day it fits so so well like it's it's absolutely gorgeous my mum must have liked cutting the labels out of her clothes or something because there is no label in this but you'll see in this video that there is a running theme of blue so this was a birthday present of my mum she said i can borrow it it's just this gorgeous kind of like a leaked tie dye it's from sylvian but this she was actually using as like a bag scarf but i thought either like that tied under Obviously I wouldn't do it with my hair tied back like that or then just like your average, you know, scarf. I mean, that was a really, really bad explanation, but I don't want to mess my hair up. Absolutely love the pattern of it. Got to be careful with it, of course, because it is silk. This is just like a purple little cami. My nan added this bit, which goes all around the neckline. And then she also added this like panelling on the side and then it splits like that i love little camis especially in summer like i think they're so so sweet i do need to get my mum to take out this adjustment because my nan adjusted it for my mum there can you see so it like cuts into my armpits but that'll be fine once those have been taken down i just thought in summer this will be nice and cool paired with like a pair of shorts i'm really excited to style this one up because i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe i have like little bestie camis but not they're like basic like ones that you just wear wherever you know not ones like that i'm gonna move on to some bottoms now so my mum actually gave me these like bright purple they're like long line but i just rolled them up i actually paired them with this pink top in my recreating pinterest outfits video i think these are 60 she told me yeah 60 shorts at first when she gave them to me i wasn't sure on the color like a bright purple that i wouldn't necessarily wear but i think they definitely look better rolled up like this and with this pink top yeah i loved it this style of longer short is my absolute favorite especially in london i don't want to be walking around in like short short shorts the material is really really nice 100 percent cotton so it keep me really really cool in summer i'd love shorts like this in like green or sage green so that's definitely something that i'm looking out for at the moment this is a 60s dress it's gonna be really really hard to show you not on so you'll see it in the end in the look but this isn't a blue that i would necessarily go for but i really really like it on and my mum thinks this blue really really suits me it already has been taken up by my mum already but we're going to take it up a little bit more because i am short and i do just prefer my dress is a little bit shorter i actually really really like this darker blue and again i don't have anything this kind of blue in my wardrobe it's all more like baby light blue um even look at my nails they are blue with white i don't know what it is i'm just i just really like blue okay so this green i feel like it's kind of like marmite i actually have a blazer similar to this which is on my instagram this is a maxi wraparound skirt now my vibe for this is holiday not that i can go on holiday but when we can holiday with some chunky sandals i feel like people might think this is a bogey green i 
just oh my god i just love the color of it i never used to be a maxi skirt kind of girl but with chunk i don't know what it is something about maxi skirts with chunky sandals just really like i just really really like it my wardrobe at the moment is so colorful i was looking at it the other day and i was like when did i get so colorful again my mum has cut the label out of this one i find it really interesting to see where pieces originally from especially when people like go do charity shop hauls and stuff even though i can't get it or the brands don't exist anymore i don't know some, i just find it really really interesting so it's kind of annoying that they don't have labels now, another thing that is kind of on trend so i actually used to wear this when i was like 14 15 and then i went off it and gave it back to my mum. and now i'm like taking it back thanks again so it's kind of tie-dye-ish it's got like zigzag going across it so that is the label where it's from this is very very baggy what i do is i pull it around like that so it's a bit tighter i love this and this kind of like print is not i've seen nothing like this in like high street shops or online shops but like pretty little thing boohoo so nice for just like chilling right lounge around the house in especially now in this warm weather this is actually what i had on yesterday i absolutely hate pins and needles that's what i get for sitting on the floor with my legs crossed for so long so another accessory i found was this velour purple belt i've seen this like um oh buckle everywhere oh, honestly i feel like every spring summer this like oh comes around again it's so different to all the other belts i have I just think the color and the material is just so 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 gorgeous so yeah i'm really excited to style this one up this next one isn't actually vintage but i just wanted to include it just because i really really like it it's about 10 years old from Bowden. there we go no you can't even see that it's just a little tie up top we have like blue around the edges and also on the end of the sleeve. But yeah, these are so, I love tight tops, especially like a cotton one like this. Because you could wear it as a cover up on the beach, um, just normally with like shorts, jeans. One of my favourite pieces that I found, I just really, really like it. I also found this skirt. How cool is the pattern on this? I am obsessed. This is one I think my mum made herself because... She didn't actually, so she's added one button here. Lazy, she hasn't actually finished it. So another like button was supposed to be on the inside. Again, it's like a wraparound skirt. Um, again, holiday vibes with this one. What I really liked about this one, this is more of like a midi. Can you see? It's got a slit. No, you can't because I'm so bad at showing stuff. But yeah, it's got a slit. This with like sandals, go on the beach for a meal. Oh. Going through my mum's clothes and her being like, oh, I made that, my nan made that, has just inspired me to, like, really start making my own clothes. Like, me and Emily always say, like, we just want to be, like, sewing and making our own clothes. And the funny thing about this is I've actually seen similar ones on PLT and Boohoo. And I actually had one in my wish list on Boohoo. And I was like, I really, really like that. And then it went out of stock. But it was a halter neck. This isn't a halter neck. But it was just, like, a white button-up shirt sleeveless shirt like this i think this is 60s or 70s i don't remember which one but yeah i'm so glad i didn't buy that thing from boohoo now because yeah i literally found something that is so so similar how i would wear it is like undone a little bit maybe like one more um with like some oh no don't you know no it's fine um with like some gold jewelry probably like mum shorts or like um a black skirt with like a slit in it this again has no label in it i have this little v-neck plain top it's vintage next i just really really liked the neckline on this lacy detail just a plain basic for spring summer 100 percent cotton next two things i also have to show you are blue so we'll go with this top next this is actually vintage top shop look at the label how cool i've never seen a vintage top shop label before it's a little bit racer back like all the tops that are so and last year as well i feel like they're just everyone's favorite style of top racer back like so so in trend and yeah i just thought it was really cool because it's vintage top shop and i know a little basic like this i'm I'm gonna wear all the time. On to the last piece, which is again blue. This is from H&M, old H&M label. This is a wraparound skirt, so it's got a button there, and then this wraps around to there and ties on there. And again, it is just like a maxi skirt. How gorgeous would this be in somewhere like Bali or Thailand? I just love the pattern on this one. At the end, it's like that. Isn't it so interesting seeing like vintage pieces from like next top shop h&m and like what stuff kind of stuff like they used to sell so i'm gonna go and style all these pieces up now i really hope you guys enjoy the lookbook here it is down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you tell me why can you tell me why 
I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Might have caught the June blues, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah You know I keep on running from the truth Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you the lookbook at the end of the video i love doing like little lookbooks like that because it just allows me to be more creative really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you liked seeing all the vintage pieces of my mum hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also turn on my bell notification because sometimes youtube can be annoying and videos don't show up in like subscription boxes but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye <coughs> I've been feeling so 